All right, welcome everybody. Steven Sitkowski here. I am the founder of Sitkowski Trading Academy and uh, welcome to this video. So the first thing I want to do is check in on the market and then I want to show you a trade that I got into. I just want to make sure everybody understands this is not investment advice. I don't know anything about your personal finances. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should get into a trade or out of a trade. This is all purely education. Okay, so we are now looking at a chart on the S&P 500. So I'll go ahead and draw our trend lines. This one's pretty simple, isn't it? What do you see? Trend is definitely up. So that's awesome. So we continue to be in a bullish market now notice we had a little dip over here. What is that from? That is called the coronavirus, which I understand has now plagued something like 20,000 people worldwide. It has shut down cities in China, which is obviously a concern to the overall economy. The Chinese are a big, big player. And um, yeah, so, that's the downside. The upside is that China's agreed to uh, cut tariffs by 50% on a whole bunch of items. So there's your good news. So like most things in life, good and bad. Okay, um, so the market continues to be bullish. And let me tell you a particular stock that I was looking at. This is Ulta Beauty Supplies. This is not the first time I've looked in on it. Um, and I've taken other trades, but you'll notice if we go back a year, what do we see? So Ulta was just kind of topping out right in here at around 360. Bottom or support was around 320. We see this gap down. Normally what will happen is the stock will try to fill that gap. So we saw this rounded bottom, stock went higher, sort of peaked out. So let's sort of stair step through this now. So right here, that was resistance. Sort of dipped and now it's back up. And my hope is that this thing is headed back to 320. Now, do I know it's gonna go there for sure? Nope. but. When I look at this chart and I see that the MACD, MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence, it's a momentum, momentum indicator, uh, it turned green. Stochastic had a crossover. Um, if I wanted to look at the relative strength index on this, also known as the RSI, let's see how that looks. And, um, Right? I mean, a lot of strength. So I was also noticing, if you look at the volume, you know, it's been going up with above average volume right here. So there's lots to lead me to believe. And the fact that Ulta was uh, up on a down day uh, leads me to believe that this is a stock that definitely has some momentum. now. I do look and I say, okay, it went up and down, and then up and down, up, down, now it's up. I mean, it could have another little dip before it goes higher, but I don't know. I wanted to get in on Friday because again, it was a down day and this stock was up. So how do we do this? I'm gonna give you a couple of different options. So here's one option. You could just go buy a deep in the money call on it. So let's say that you went out. So your choices are March. And in March, your longest expiration is 47 days. Otherwise, you've got to go way out to June. If we're going to do something looking short term, this makes the most sense. So if we did a Delta 79, here's the only problem. I mean, this might make a whole bunch of sense as a trade, but you know, at $41.50, if you hit your trade button, um, oh, I don't want to continue to my brokerage account. Let's do the virtual account. Okay. So if we go 
into this trade. Hit the trade button, loads us up. You know, you can probably do a little better than 4150. You might be in at 39, but it's still close to $4,000 per contract. And if you're sitting there going, man, there's just no way I can afford to do that, let me give you another way to approach this. We'll do it as a as a bull call spread. So why don't we? You know, as we looked at that chart, maybe sell the, let's get more. Um, if we wanted to go fairly conservative, we could sell. So I'm gonna put in a minus one, the 310, uh, strike put, and we're going to buy the 305 strike put. Okay, so if we wanted to evaluate this trade, first of all, now look at what's happened to the pricing. We're now down to, you've got a bid ass spread, 135, 40. You know, the market is closed, so I don't think we're getting, you know, real representation on this. This trade's probably going to end up costing us about somewhere in the neighborhood net of around three dollars would be my best guess. What is the potential profit? The profit would be the difference in the two strikes, which is five dollars minus three, so that would be um, two. So we're risking three to get two now. So that's a 305, 310. Let's go back to the chart. If this stock closes above 310, you're going to make $2 on a $3 bet, which is about a 66% return. Well, now, how much could you lose? Well, the most you could lose on this would be your debit, which is $3 a share, $300 per contract. But here would be my suggestion on this. We've got an expiration of, I think it was 42 days. Is that right? 47 days. In the event that, let's see if we get better pricing if we do the third Friday. Just add a giggles. Yeah, we are. Watch. There's just more activity. All right, let's see what this is going to look like. Well, still got the other ones in there. Um, I can eyeball it. So probably on the long one, you're going to pay thirteen seventy-five. You're going to pick up about eleven. You're going to get into this for two fifty. So your upside's five dollars. Your investment is. 250, max loss 250. So it's kind of a one to one. So let's get rid of these. We'll get a true number. I want to make sure that you really understand, you know, the trade. So here we go. Yeah. So the bid is a dollar ten. That's what they'll give you if you sell this trade. The ask is. $2.90 is what you're going to pay. You're going to get somewhere in between the bid and the ask. You're going to pay around probably $2.50, like I said. So you've got $2.50 invested. If the stock finishes above $3.10, you're going to have a net profit of $2.50 a share, which means you would have a 100% rate of return. So... Um, Here's the question, if we go back to the chart, does it look to you like Ulta could get to 310, which would put it right in here. So if I were to draw that for you, like right there. Still below, right, this next level of resistance, that just looks like a trade that's got a pretty good probability. If you see this stock move down 
into this range. So that's going to be about 280. Get out. So if you watch this thing drop, get out, take your lumps. Most you can lose is 250 a share. If not, stay in this thing for a couple weeks and hopefully we get up around 310-ish and you can continue to ride it if it's got good upward momentum on good volume. If not, close out your trade, take your profit at that point. So that's the way that I'm going to play this. So you could either go Delta 80, you're in it for about four grand, or you could do this, and you're in it for about $250 per contract. Maybe it lets you buy 10 contracts for $2,500. All right, hope you found this beneficial. If you're not a subscriber, please do. Click on the notification bell, and uh, you'll see every time I put up something new, and our followers are really growing, which is cool. I do no advertising. So this is kind of my labor of love. If you would like to share the message, let some other people know, I would be appreciative of that. So till next time, God bless. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye for now.